this is what y'all be out here making me do, bruh. It's getting, it's getting to me, man. It's getting to me. So, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero apparently has been doing quite well on the channel, if you guys don't know. I'm getting a lot of views and a lot of comments on the game at this point in time. A lot of them are asking me, but can it run with 8 gigabytes of RAM on integrated graphics? And I'm there like, bro, this thing can run on the potato. It can run on anything. Now, run and be playable once again are two very different things. But to put that to bed, we're going to be testing it on the i5 4430 with the Intel 4600 with one stick. That's right, one stick of 8 gigabytes of RAM at 1600 megahertz. That's it. Um, I actually went further than this and actually did a 4 gigabyte RAM video as well. I actually did that before I did this one, but I thought, eh, I'd, I'd want to have two. So in case you guys, someone, because someone were asking even for 4 gigabytes, which was ridiculous, but they were asking for it. So they were asking for 4 and they were asking for 8, so I was like, okay, let's do the 8 one and I'll upload the 8 gigabyte first. And then the 4 gigabyte will follow right after it. So basically all the same settings. We're running at 640 by 40. Not really. We have the render set of 50%, but I don't even think that's real at this point. Nothing's real. I'm using every config I have under the sun to run this game right now. It's crazy. It looks, it looks like how I expected it to look. What I noticed right off the bat is it's using more RAM. When I tested this previously, let's try to get into the game and see what happens. Bro, I just thought the game crashed on me. Oh, no. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. So, gotta wait, gotta wait. So, what I saw here is that when I used the 4 gigabytes, it was using 3.6 gigabytes. Here, it's using 6.5. That's not the worst thing in the world. Let's uncap the frame rate. And see if it is any smoother with 8 compared to, to 4. I... Okay, yeah, I can already see that it's doing better than 4, four did. Huh. Interesting. I can definitely see it's doing better. But you, I, you, in 2024, guys, you need dual channel RAM. Like, why would you put yourself through this? I just do it because I do it for you guys. But, but guys, come on. Like, we're better than this. Low-end community, we're better. We're better than this, man. We don't have to do this to ourselves. Honestly, though, there is a bit of a difference. I can see the difference between the 4 and the 8. But it would be a bigger one if you had dual channel RAM. <laughs> Yeah, single channel RAM is going to be a struggle, but it seems like it is playable here. Once again, with this config file. You ain't running this properly without the config file. And certain maps are probably still not going to be playable. Now the i5, I even picked the i5 because the i5 isn't that fast of a CPU to help me out. So keep that in mind. If you have a slower CPU than even this, you're in trouble. You're, you're in trouble. I, I'll be honest. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked. I'm sorry. But it's running right now. And I can't complain because it is playable. Not really. I can't see a damn thing. I'm running this off of a monitor. I can't see anything, man. Any any effects or anything like this? You don't want to play as Beerus, bro. I'll tell you that now. Beerus got them crazy effects. But it is playing, you know? Once again, I, I don't know why you do your this to yourself at this point. I feel like 4 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes, you need dual channel RAM for this game. Dual channel RAM makes it stable at 30 FPS. Here, you're gonna we're gonna dip below 30 FPS. I could have tried this on the Intel HC620. I probably would have had a better time. Or maybe not, because the CPU is weaker. So maybe I wouldn't have. But you know, if you have a better CPU and a better GPU, integrated GPU even, I'm I'm going there. Like GB integrated GPUs can play this game. I'm just saying. You need to have something decent still. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. But this is for the community. They wanted to know. And I'm showing you that, yes, it is possible to run the game with only 4 or 8 gigabytes of single channel RAM. As you can see, with 8 gigabytes using 6.2 gigabytes of it, it's managing. It's getting the job done. Oh my gosh, did my controller just get out on me? Fly up, fly up, fly up over the water. I can't see a damn thing. That's better. I feel like it's cutting out simply because of everything that's happening. We only have 8 gigabytes of RAM. It only has so much. Back up, back up, before he can stop me. But once again, I hope you guys enjoy my suffering. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Seriously, guys, help me out on the channel for sacrificing myself like this. 
for you guys, man. It's, it's painful, man. It's painful. I don't want to be here. But we managed to get it running, and it ran. You know? There wasn't much of a slowdown. I felt like it was playing smooth enough. But still, I mean, I can barely see anything. This looks terrible. I'm running this over a monitor through a capture card. So everything you see is how the game actually will perform. And, well, it wasn't great. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.